The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman here. Larry's voice is not yet well enough to be able to do the show, so I said if I'm around at this particular time, I'd like to step in, and I'm here. So we're looking at a number of factors. So let me just give you the Dow's down 216 at 34,266. Let me just kind of do a brief overview, and then we can go on with the show. Um, I'm looking at the Dow in the long term, looking extremely positive in the shorter term going from the daily chart this is on the left <clears throat> excuse me middle chart is the weekly the right chart is the monthly same things at dow's at 34,251 down to 22. Uh, one of the things we were looking at <clears throat> i'll do this real briefly is that we are looking for some kind of a top coming into this august period in each of the indices the late july early august well, using a particular technique, in this case, uh, this blue line right here on balance volume, uh, we managed to get a short right there at, on the 1st of August at 35,679 because there are a number of factors, one to one. one something that Larry uses very often is the, the extension, the A to B equals C to D. Now, you'll see these notations in every single one of my hundreds and hundreds of charts, whether it's a one-minute chart like this, a 10-minute chart on the right here, a one-minute chart like that, you'll see the notation. These are blank charts. I put the notations in every single letter that you see. Um, so in this particular instance, the one-to-one -one said that the show, I don't use this very often. Uh, Larry uses this just beautifully in his own technique, and then he uses the Gartley. I use this, I call it, there's a pattern that I call the falling axe. If it breaks out above that particular pattern, it looks like this where price goes to about four higher peaks or maybe five. Then it starts to make lower highs and much lower lows. Then suddenly it turns around and it, it takes out that declining cone resistance. Then it can do what I call a, a shadow wave one-to-one -one parallel extension. In other words, in the number of bars up to that particular line, it should be the same number of bars in the same angle of progress to the upside in this diagonal move. So what did we do? We've got the, we've got the same thing here. Here's your falling exclamation right there. Here's your breakout. So that said to me, we're getting close to a top. But then I use another particular technique that I call the 914. And that's where the 914 period moving average is now. Of course, this is anathema to, to Larry's technique. He does not use any of this at all. Uh, he never uses moving averages, but he, you know, whatever. I will, I've always said to anyone that I talked about technical analysis, if you have a particular indicator or a particular tool and you use it over and over and it really works for you, don't let anybody tell you it's not in the book. If it works for you, just keep doing it over and over. Of course, it won't work 100% of the time, but if it, in the majority it gives you a good result, who on earth is there to say to you, don't use it? You've got to use it. It's yours. Not only that, when you learn a different technique, someone else's technique, you've got to make it your own. It just has to become part of your vernacular. You don't want to look around and say, did I do that correctly? I'll just put in $10,000, but am I right? Would you go out and buy an automobile uh, for whatever, whatever it costs you without doing any homework whatsoever? People tend to do that in the stock market. Get used to doing your homework. Okay. So within that context, we used another indicator that said, if you just use this one indicator, you need, you, you need if you were on a desert island and you had internet, but you were only allowed to use three lines, all I would want is the price of the thing I'm following and this 914 crossover. When it crosses negative, it just goes down. As soon as it crosses positive, it goes up. It can go up. In this case here, it was very nice because we were waiting for the turn. But look at this. 
the QQQ in this particular index from the time it rallied <clears throat> at around about, let's call it 300, back in March, this is a daily chart, March of 2000, March the 16th of 2023, there was one day where it went pink. And it's still right up until the 7th of August was green. One indicator. Now, it looks great when you're going back, but in history, when you're actually doing it live, it's a different thing altogether. You think, this is the moment it's going to turn. This is the moment. This is a simple technique. So look at the cues. It turned pink, and it's been pink for a while. It hadn't been pink for a long time, so this is a little bit more serious. Look at the S&P. Pink since the 20, uh, what was that? Since the 8th of August. And look, it rallies right up to the line, gets repelled at the 14 period exponential moving average. Look at the SMHs. SMHs, even with a spectacular move on NVIDIA, one of the reasons why we are still short uh, from, from the two days after the all time high, about two points or less than two points off the top, is because. It said to me that it's not going to turn green unless a lot of things happen to the positive side. But it has been green since May the 16th or something, May the 12th. Green, 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 green. All the noise. You, you, didn't have to, you didn't have to listen to the show. You could just stay green until it turned pink. All right. Well, with that said, ooh, I shouldn't have said that, right? Um, with that said, let's go on with... The show. I've got a bunch of questions coming in, and um, let me get back to this. So the Dow is in a sell mode in the daily. If this Friday it closes quite sharply below this 14-period moving average, it goes to a sell signal. If it does that for two weeks, it'll be a sell mode, or if other things happen, it'll be upgraded, or should be called downgraded, from a, buy, from a sell signal to a sell mode. The other thing that we're looking at here is that the monthly chart is still really good. All the technicals are actually holding pretty well. So let's just do this because the questions I got. I wanted to show you wheat, does wheat, because Larry always does commodities. Look at this beautiful arch. I'm always looking at these patterns. Straight line up or down. There's a straight line up. There's a straight line down. This looks like an Eiffel Tower or a pyramid pattern. Uh, this is the arch formation. So I'm always looking at these patterns, straight up, straight down, cup formation, arch formation. The market is made up only of straight lines, cups, and arches. The cup can be a V-shaped pattern, but it's going from one point down back to that point. The arch can be an inverted V, but in fact, it's going from one level up and then back again. How it tests that level, this is called the dreaded H. Why? Because if you come straight down, you make this move to a peak A, or the second peak will be B, and then fail and take out that left side low, you can double that move to the downside. And there it is, the dreaded H. The, the very positive green reverse Y is when it's going up. Look, there's a little Y right there, and it broke up. There's another Y, it broke to the upside. So with that said, a couple of questions have come in. I'll go to them. Uh, this one. FNGT. How's the chap that's sitting in for? This one go. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education. Investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? 
Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF nn.com call now toll free at 1-877-927-6648 internationally at 727-873-7618 Hi, okay, guys. So down 234. SMB down 34. Basil Chapman here. Uh, and if anyone's interested in my service, the, the uh, opening call to my daily newsletter, I did a webinar last night. It was really one looking at all the, not all, but many of the plethora of uh, tools and indicators that we use, uh, all the, that I use all the time. Uh, it was really very 90 minutes. It was very detailed to get my uh, service for a month free. And it's money back guarantee. So, I got a question here about FNGD, and this is the microsecurity FANG plus three times inverse, and I believe it's the inverse long. Um, uh, just tell me if I'm wrong, but that's what I'm looking at. The chart looks like it just had a good rally, and now it's giving it back. So this is those FANG stocks, which did come down, but it should be, it looks different to me. And I'll just do it. It doesn't matter whether it's long or short. So using the, the most obvious lowest low bar, this is the low bar right here in July, and gaps up and it goes to peak A, uppercase on the way up. And even this little A here gets counted because it's a peak. Here's your starting point. Every single peak gets, that's your obligation in the Chapman Wave is to count each single peak and trough, I shouldn't say single, but it's each peak and trough, then that is a higher high, so that's peak B, there goes C, here is D, and in the Chapman Wave methodology, a buy signal that's upgraded, usually at B or, or, or starting C, says you should go from a buy signal to a buy mode, especially if the technicals concur, um, and that takes you to at least four higher peaks, but it can go higher, but it's at least four higher peaks. So there's your E, and it plunged underneath the um, uh, the 9 is still strong. Look, the 9 is still strong over the 14. MACD is very strong. Stochastic was good. It was over 80%, and now it's 61%. So that's one thing that's weak, and the unbalanced volume is still strong. So that just says, <clears throat> I'll give you parameters for this rather than, look, Looking at it right now, it looks like it could be an inverse shoulder, head, double shoulder right there. I tend to treat those with respect, but I don't ever use them in the sense that there are so many other things that you can use, and then it gets a confirmation. So as this is, as I'm looking at it right now, and I just want to see, did anybody correct me? Because that's what I've read. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm doing his chart. Okay, here we go. 
Uh, okay, question. Yes, I'm live. I did a show this morning, but this is live. I'm live right there. Thank goodness. Nice to be above ground. Uh, ultimate objective. So uh, no chart? What do you mean no chart? There is a chart. I believe there's a chart. The charts, right? Must be charts. Come on, please let there be charts. Yeah, I can see that they're charts. At least I think I can. Yes, they are. So uh, just refresh, Phil, and you'll get it. So what we're looking at here is, um, yeah, so this is the FNGD. And it's the microsec fan plus three times inverse long. That's what I read. It certainly doesn't look long. But look what happened. It made this double top. And now it's pulled back quite sharply, but today it's rallying. And that just says to looks like this should be short. Am I wrong? Somebody help me. Because I'm also 24 cents. Okay. Uh, no child watching you on YouTube. Uh, okay, someone it's short. Oh, yes, I'm, I was saying this just doesn't look long at all. This is the short. So okay. With that said, these are what you need to look for. There is something today, and that must be NVIDIA because it's at 484. Uh, it's up 13. I mean, don't don't give up on NVIDIA. I think that there's still something there. It's the go-to stock, but I think it just got way carried away last night. We're watching this very closely because, as I said before in my show, we are short the SMHs. Uh, just off the top, 161 was the top, and 159 is when we short. We've taken off our three times short positions, done very well. We just got out of it and got stopped out of the last little bit yesterday. I should have got back in it immediately this morning. It looked like it was just an aberration, but I didn't. So I'm talking about it because this has, I would prefer if this was one to one, but it doesn't matter. So in this particular instance, it is three times short. Look at this big move. And I, I think that NVIDIA must have something to do with it. Maybe Let me just have a look here. I'm going to forget what the symbol is, FNGD. So Microsoft, let me just do these one at a time. Microsoft, yeah. So Microsoft had a big spike. Giving it all back is down 474 at 322. Look at the way the pink nine period moving average has been so negative. It's trying to rally. If it by Tuesday, if it's able to get back into the 327 area, so 322 right now, that'll start to see that pink nine period moving average getting closer and closer to the black 14 period moving average and say, hey, I might even turn green. But if you look at that monthly chart, four major candles to the downside after this doji candle high at peak D. Remember, fourth highest peak in, in Chapman Wave, you've got to be careful. And uh, the monthly chart, look at this. The monthly chart went to 349 uh, in November of 2021, comes all the way down to 213.43, it goes back to a new recovery high in the 360-something uh, area, right? And then what happens is the MACD is good, but it's nothing like it was at that previous high. On balance volume is okay, it's good, but nothing like it was. The MACD is good, but nothing like it was before. So there's going to be a little – and the 9P moving average is up. So there's nothing to say that's very negative about Microsoft in the monthly chart – but it is starting to show weakness, and that weakness starts off in the daily, which is your rudder, and then the boat turns around, that's the, the weekly, and then the long, the, the, the super tanker, is the monthly chart, and that takes forever to turn, and so far, it's holding very well. If you're looking at Amazon, Fang, it must be Amazon, uh, Apple, oh, so Amazon's maybe not even in there. So uh, Amazon pulling back. Made a double top. Uh, these double tops are amazing. 143, 146 was the high back in September or so last year. Pulls back to the 80s. <clears throat> rallies to 143. The way these, the way even the semiconductors, after a year and a half, almost a year and a half, went back to within points of its November high after such a big tumble. That's amazing. How do markets remember? Horizontal, actually, I, I think you can remember better. But those diagonal ones where you just bump into a trend line and then pull back or bump into a trend line support and rally, that's amazing. So anyway, I'm looking at this. So it says to me, you've got to have a, a good look at these other instruments. Google <clears throat> had a nice rally. Uh, the all-time high is 152. It plunges down to the uh, uh, back. In, well, the last, the last low was in the 80s. Um, announced at 134. 
So this is really showing good strength. It's gone to the missing leg D as we speak in the weekly chart. That doesn't mean to say, oh, my God, D, now something's going to happen. No, it just says this is where you've got to be a little bit careful. Uh, the, the, week, the daily chart has made this cup formation that goes to an H pattern, holds nicely, and then it's gone to a higher high. But it hasn't closed there. So it's a little bit vulnerable, but so far it's doing well. Facebook, which is uh, meta, oh, why, why they change names, I'll never know. Look at this beautiful up channel, peak F in the Chapman wave in the weekly chart, strong leg A in the uh, monthly and a peak G top and it's pulled back really sharply. So if I go back, if I'm going to even try to remember F, F, N, G, D, was it? Or D, G? There are. Um, I'll give you parameters on this and when we return and then we'll look at, um, yeah, D down, uh, Basil, U is up. F, N, G, U. Okay. I'll be right back. That was down 260. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Hi, folks. In my uh, webinar last night for subscribers to my opening call, uh, we went through a lot of things. And one of the, one of the patterns that I look at is bar symmetry. Uh, initially, years ago, I used to call it, I still call it, left side, right side, price, time match. So too many words, bar symmetry is what we're looking at. In other words, the number of bars on the upside equals the number of bars on the downside. Sometimes you have to use a particular technique because the plumb line, the midpoint, 
it just if you start to do it, it just doesn't look like it's going to be right. So I I would move it under certain conditions using a particular candle or a particular pit, uh, peak or trough. And but what you love is when it's exactly mathematically equal. Look at the number of bars from 12 o'clock in the one minute chart going to this first peak C1, C2 high. C1, C2 means you've just missed going to a D, but all the technicals were fading and it says that could be called a D and you've got to learn how to prepare for it because if it isn't a D, you could still go a little higher to finally get that, to get the D, but if it's a C1, C2, it says at least it prepares you. If you have a position, you can take something off. Well, lo and behold, that first, that high was the midpoint. I drew this in as the arch formation in the first one from 12.30 going to 1 o'clock. Look at that beautiful arch, number of bars on the left, equal number of bars on the right. But look at this larger one that goes from 12 o'clock to exactly where we were when we started here at one at uh, 127. 127 already? Yeah, at 127. Isn't that amazing? How does the chart know? I always, <clears throat> when people say, oh, yeah, I use a 21 period exponential moving average because there are 21 trading days or whatever it is, I always say, give me a break. What happens if there's a holiday? You've moved that 21 day and now it's shifted to the right. And if there's another holiday, like we sometimes have two holidays in the month, the whole thing's distorted. Just use it for another, re use it for a reason because it works. Not because it's the weekly idea. And I, 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 I don't agree with that at all. In this case, I use the 9 and 14 because of years and years, decades, and not hundreds, not thousands, but hundreds of thousands of charts doing the notation by hand. You can automate it. Steve Rhodes does a great job automating. But in the automation, it gets complicated when you have like a little peak there, gray peak A, and you don't know if it's the big one. Then I, I have an, a parallel move and the C1, C2, I do it by, I visually it just takes me moments and I get it done. So in this case, we've made the base, tr trying out for the base. Stochastic turned up, unbalanced volume wasn't failing, it held quite nicely. MACD held, and now you got a little bit of a bounce coming in. Okay, enough with that. Let's get back to our FANG stock. So <clears throat> the way I'm looking at it, um, at this particular point, D is for down, so it's three times short. <clears throat> what I would anticipate, if this is going to have a move that extends to this high here, that's the high of the 7th of June at 11.29, oops, is 11.20, the next day is 11.23, so that must be more because I can see there. That is, it's 1120. 1120 to 1123. So in the 1120s, and the high that was made on um, the 18th was 1091. You would have to see three things happen. One is the MACD is holding very nicely. Number two is the nine still over the 14. Number three, the stochastic drops sharply to 51. The unbalanced volume, the blue line, is holding very nicely, and the relative strength is a little bit weak. So to have this become a bullish chart in the bearish ETF, I would want to see today's Thursday, and Thursday is nearly done. By Monday, at this exact time, when Larry's back, hopefully, doing his show, you want to see the FNGD trading. It doesn't have to close there, but I want to see it at least trading once, having taken out the high of the 21st a couple of days ago of 10.96. Uh, no, I think it's 10.9, 10 point, where's the high? It is 10.20. Yeah, so a 10.20, and that's a long way to go, but it is a three times, it's rather aggressive. If it's, if it's able to do that, then what we've got is a pattern that says, now it's not one of my favorite patterns, but I'm going to put it in, left shoulder, LS, whoops, uppercase, LS, head right there, and right shoulder. 
that's one just one, one way of looking at it. It's not my favorite way, but I'm putting it in because a lot of people will look and say, hey, that looks like it could be head and shoulders. Most importantly, the neckline <clears throat> is what's absolutely imperative to, to, to close over. And I would say <clears throat> by Tuesday or Wednesday of next week, if this is successfully trading above 10.90, I think then, then we'll be looking at all these different indexes, that means the QQQ. <clears throat> QQQ could be below 350. If you see the S, uh, the uh, XLK, that is the XLK is the S&P Select um, Spider Tech Fund. Underneath, it's at 168 right now. If it's trading underneath this low right here, that's the 18th of uh, August, a couple of days ago, five days ago. A 162 is a 4, 94 is a low. If it's trading, if it touches 161, those are all the things that have to happen. That's a lot to have to happen. So it's aggressive, and I just say, I think you are right. If you're if you're in it, you're wanting it to go higher. I think you are correct in this particular phase right now. I think this aberration yesterday with um, Nvidia <clears throat> is is a one off. And the market now needs to settle down because I went through this in my show earlier at 10 o'clock. My Tiger technicians are, look at advanced micro devices. Uh, look at that horrible candle. There it is. Look at this. Going for the 200 b moving average of 99.20. It's at 10155. MU is Micron. Uh, MRVL has earnings today. It was a pleasant surprise. Um, yeah, look at that ugly candle. But if it's a pleasant surprise, it could turn around and pop. And if it, if it's trading at 59, 57 right now. If Marvell technology, this is in the semiconductor area, <clears throat> overnight spikes into the 68, 69 area, and tomorrow at 10.30 in the morning, an hour after the market's open, is holding at least two points of that gain instead of giving it all back. And by Monday, is actually trading below 55. That'll be a good sign. But they all got this this pattern, uh, LRCX, this is uh, LAM Research, <clears throat> holding much better than the others, instead of being at 666.17. <clears throat> um, if it's down in the 638 area, that, that's a real problem. So that's expecting a lot. So I think it's a process. And the process says <clears throat> the techs are still under pressure. My, uh, um, NVIDIA saved the day briefly, but he can't do it alone. I'll be back in a moment, and we'll look at all the other stocks that I was asked about. I'll be back. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insight, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Hi, folks. So a couple of questions. I, um, let me just get to this right here. So, uh, Basil. <clears throat> okay, we'll look at a little deeper at Microsoft and then we we'll look at the others. So I looked at Microsoft, <clears throat> but what I want to just suggest is in Microsoft's case, the daily chart, I, I like to open these out so you can get a better picture. It's hard to just look. You see this large arch formation, you see this little double top, you see the way the technicals here at 351.47 on the 16th of June. Look how strong everything was, although the MACD was low, and this again, they were lower than they were at that high, but uh, <clears throat> they still were very good. Look what happened in this particular high, and look how quickly it gave it up. So we're looking at strength in the technicals not being translated very well in price, and that just says there's slippage. Think of snow driving in the snow or on the sand. You've got wheel spin, and that's really what's happening right here. So this has gone to a leg A. For this to become positive, you'd have to see a pretty decent close today rather than at the low of 322. You'd need to see it probably at about 325 to 326 and then a nice update tomorrow. I'm not sure that's going to be the case at this particular point. It's really struggling. It just needs a breather. It's had, look, you've got all this stuff on the left where it could test the 200 period moving average is way down to 300. I'm not saying it's getting there right now. I think it's a stepwise process. How would I measure to give it price time match? In other words, bar symmetry. I'd say I'd go to this particular, look, that candle there we're almost at right now. So if I did this, I'd go from here to that low, very obvious low right there. Then I'd say, what happens if I do a price time match to the right? Click. There it is. And it says it's two days late. It already reached that level. So um, the next one would be this low. And we do the same thing. So I would say by next week, that's what I was saying before. Uh, Microsoft needs to hold in the 320 to 317s because if it goes under that, it's going to test that low. And then I have to start looking at the 200 period moving average. Question about Boeing. Boeing. Uh, it's got this dreaded H pattern. Remember, I showed this, didn't I show it? Yes, I showed this before that if it comes straight down and then bounces, fails at a peak A or B, like that, fails at a peak A or B, and then takes out that left side low. Watch out, you can go a lot lower. Well, Boeing just did that. There it is, it ran up right here to peak A. There's your peak E. This is because it's, it hasn't gone to F. Has to be called an A until it gets there. And then what does it do? It fails and closes within two bars. It cannot close above the left side high. That says, be careful. You can go one to one to the downside. It did that. Then it tried to bounce. Now it's just made another uh, dreaded H pattern. Dreaded H because if you take out that low, you can go a lot lower. So that gap is going to be filled, it looks to me, 
That's that's what I'm looking at in Boeing. Amazon, I just I think I did that, but I'll do it in a greater detail. So there's a trend line that I'd used before, but I can use this trend line again. So I've got all these fib numbers. I used to use fib, then I I not, then I I'd use it, and then it would be a little messy and figure out. But I, I because Larry uses it so much, and the other people in the and uh, TFNN, um, <clears throat> I think it's it's worth at least keeping there. So it says. Amazon at 132 down two and a half with an S. That means that the pink, the nine period moving average has just turned pink. It's just gone underneath the green, underneath the black 14 period moving average, going from green to pink. The day's young, anything can happen. But right now, it's suggesting that the test of uh, this whole area here, this left side low, and to fill the gap completely will be on the 3rd of August. The high was 129.84, low was 126.41. I think it's going to go into that area and try to fill it a little bit more. Uh, what was the next question? N phase, ENPH. <clears throat> Whoa. Trading at 122, down 8. Look at this. This is the lowercase h that holds, that can go to a lowercase m. These are just patterns that repeat over and over. Didn't fill the gap, and now it is down the 122 area. And I drew this in some time ago. I said, be careful, because if it does fail... End phase energy inc could go down to this trend line with a Chapman wave inside track propellant zone. This is a technique that I developed where I take like a three sixteenth inch mini channel and I say if it if if it holds that, it's a propellant. If it fails, it's a repellent. So I call this a Chapman wave inside wedge propellant zone is on the edge of becoming a resistance area if end phase goes into the 119s. And that's a monthly chart, so just be real careful. Next question was AMD. <clears throat> advanced, I did that. Advanced micro devices, horrible candle. Um, <clears throat> is it, I don't want to take time now, but advanced micro devices, I find, I've, I've followed it since way back when. Oh, Fisher, what was his name? Not Fisher. What was his name? Oh, man. I can remember him so well, except the name just to say, oh, Larry would get the name. He'd say, yeah, Tuesday at 4 o'clock, it was back in, I think it was August of 1973. I mean, Sanders, that's his name. Yeah, that's what he said. Yeah, Sanders, I remember. And we had, what did we have there? We had a little coffee. Yeah. Anyway, I didn't remember the thing. I did remember his name, Sanders, not Colonel Sanders, but Sanders was his name. And yeah, this is an incredible chart. This goes from the single digits to the high triple digits over, and I don't want to do that now, maybe tomorrow in my Tiger Technicians Hour, where I do Technical Friday, I'll, I'll show advanced micro devices incredible moves, going from sparsity to excessivity. So this says AMD should go down to the 99s very quickly, and it'll hug that for a little bit, the 200-period moving average. And GS is Goldman Sachs, and Goldman Sachs is <clears throat> failing. Very unusual. You know, Goldman Sachs, there was a period, I think, there was a period where for not a single day over the year did they have a negative uh, earnings or something like that, some, anything, not a, or a negative trade or something un unbelievable. Well, you've got to have a little. Oh, I'm not going to say inside information because I don't really know, but wow, to do that is an amazing thing. Those days are gone. It's just a regular old folk, General uh, Goldman Sachs, and it's not looking very good. At this point, I would say the IAI, which we are still long from 46 down from the low of uh, 2020, <clears throat> um, is the clue, and it's starting to fail. But the one that's really fantastic in this area is uh, um, interactive brokers. Look, it's almost at an all-time high as we speak. Look at that. There's a chapter wave inside track repellent zone right there. I can lift it up a little bit now right there. It hit it in that trend line. How does it know, a diagonal trend line, how does it know to have a high of, in March of 2021, of 80.57? Months later, in December of 2021, it goes to 82.83, and that angle continues to exactly, March of, uh, two years later, March of 2023, it goes to 90.19, 90 and right here is stalling at exactly that trend line. Chapman wave inside wedge. Sorry, this is the Chapman wave. There we go. Inside track reversal zone. So I usually make the outside on the way up. 
green, inside pink, and it gets stuck in that in that track. And there's, a, there's, there's also a price time match in here between that high, the midpoint, and that high. All right, I'll be back in a moment to wrap it up for the final segment. I think I did the question over there. I think it was else. I said, I'll look at that when I get there. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Because uh, we're we'll running out of time. The question about Tesla. So Tesla is trading down four and a half at 232.49. <clears throat> One of the things I look at is from a buy signal upgraded to a buy mode, there should be at least four higher peaks. That's where other things can happen. Well, test the 10 minute chart, makes a low right here at about uh, 10 ish at uh, 220, let's call it 230. It runs peak A, peak B, peak C. I'm just counting each higher peak. If it goes by one penny above the previous peak, it goes. It's a floating letter, then it becomes a peak. And what I look for, I look like tiny doji candles for reversals. And lo and behold, right there, peak D, it makes a, a doji candle. At this trough, I chose this as a left side midpoint, and it goes to the exact one, one bar late, uh, one bar early, <clears throat> to the low that was made. Now it's going peak A, peak B. Now it's starting to struggle, but you see the line went, went green. So there's a fight between this arch formation and... <clears throat> This pattern right here, where you've got your support, you've got your support right there, and there's an up channel. This looks very much like the Chapman wave inverted 
falling X formation. <clears throat> and that says if this starts to take out uh, 231.30 at any time in the next 10 or 20 minutes, <clears throat> be careful. It can give you a turnaround to where the 200 period moving average. Did you even have to think about that when you were up here? No, but now it's a magnet line. 200 is always like a look back magnet line. So just, just watch this closely. During the day, closer we get to 230.80, the greater the chance we're going to hit 230, the 200 period moving average. You want to push away from that as much as you can. So with that said, we're about to wrap up. Uh, don't forget, my, my service is the opening call, the heading newsletter. Did a webinar for subscribers. On the weekend, I usually do an hour-long webinar looking at an overview, looking at all these different uh, uh, aspects. Just to review, once again, we are short from the Dow on the exact August 1st high, and we are still short the semiconductors uh, two points off the high, two days after the high was made, all-time high was made. We'll see what happens. Have a wonderful rest of the day. Um, I'm hoping Larry's voice is improving a great deal. Stay tuned. Great program coming up. Tom O'Brien, 3 o'clock to 4. I'll see you tomorrow.